Welcome back to my channel. Greetings everyone. This is Q Man. And today I would like to talk to you about cell phone coverage in the DR. Guys, I don't care who you're with, your phone most likely is gonna work here. But there's one thing that you need to do. Before you come, you need to call your provider and ask them, is there anything you need to do in the settings when you get here? They'll tell you yes or no. So now, after being here for about two weeks, I couldn't make any calls or receive any calls to the United States. So now, let me back up. Before you come here, ladies and gentlemen, there's three things you need to do. You need to download WhatsApp, which is an app that allows you to call or text and video conference anyone, anywhere, free. Next thing you need, if you don't speak Spanish, you need a translator app, you need some type of map, Google map, whatever you choose, um, Waze, they all work here. So you need to get those three things, okay? You need those. Um, now, back to the phone. Um, after about two weeks, most of the people I deal with have WhatsApp. That's how we communicate in the United States. But your bank in the United States and certain other businesses, guys, don't use WhatsApp. So, you have to call them on your network. And after about two weeks, I couldn't make any calls unless I was in my apartment or on Wi-Fi. So, I, I was able to contact T-Mobile and complain about it two, three times before they finally put me on with um, technical support. And the techno so technical support person had to take me in the settings and refresh something. After they refreshed it with me, we hung up and then they attempted to call me then I attempted to call them, everything worked fine. So it's something that got messed up in my settings that prevented me from calling um, back to the United States. Also, I have an iPhone 8, but if you have a newer iPhone or if you have a newer Android phone, those phones have this technology in it to where you can have your network on your phone and you can also get a local Dominican number that you can switch back and forth on on your phone. And I think that that would be very helpful because I haven't researched this yet, guys, and as soon as I find out, I don't even know if they have a 911 here or what the number is, and I don't even know how to call that on my phone if I need to call the police. So next time I talk to you guys, I'm gonna update you on if I need to call the police, is there a way I can call on my network or do I need to get an upgraded phone so I can have a Dominican number as well or do I just need to get me a cheap throwaway phone that has a Dominican account on it that I can use if I need to open up a bank account. Also, the purpose of that phone also, if you go to um, a Kia, if you go to a appliance store and you buy anything that has to be delivered, they need a Dominican phone number. So if you don't have one, you're gonna have to have a friend, your landlord, or somebody's number that you can give to them because when it's time to deliver your purchase, they're gonna call that number to make sure you're there and to guide them in if necessary. So guys, I hope this, and also guys, one thing you don't want to do, some people, they've been advised is at the airport, go ahead and get a Dominican SIM card, put on your phone and ask some minutes on that. You can do that and everything's going to work fine, but all your calls to the United States, none of that stuff is going to work because you're going to be, or if it does work, it's going to be very, very expensive. Okay, so guys, I hope this video was informative. I hope it helped you. If it was, please like, please subscribe, and hey, it'd be a big, big help if you share. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.